How do you take $50 and turn it into $50,000 of net worth in one year? By doing real estate. Well, what type of real estate? Single family or apartment buildings? I'm gonna talk about an apartment building example that you can take $50 and turn it into $50,000. And this is actually very achievable for most people okay so let's start how to take fifty dollars to fifty thousand dollars one year okay first thing you have to have a property so say, let's assume you have a 10 unit apartment building now a 10 unit apartment building is very doable. Depends where you, are, where you are in the country, you can buy a 10 unit apartment building. Say each unit costs you $50,000. This 10 unit apartment building will cost you $500,000. Say each unit costs you $36,000. This apartment building would co cost you $360,000. Hey, that's more than most houses out there, right? If you can afford a house for $400,000, $500,000, or even a few hundred thousand dollars, you could probably afford in the right area an apartment building that is a 10 unit apartment building. So instead of buying 10 houses at $50,000 a house, you go buy one building with 10 units in it for the same price. A lot less headache and a lot better cash flow and more st stability. Plus, this right here is what I'm gonna show you. Okay, 10 unit apartment building, $50. You raise the rents. $50 on each unit. For $50, most people are not gonna move, right? You gotta do your market research, make sure there's enough room in the market to move the rent up $50, right? To go ahead and upcharge an extra 50 bucks. Now, even if you're at the top of the, of the market in rents, it's okay because most tenants are not gonna leave because they gotta pay you $50 more a month. When's the last time that you moved, right? Last time you moved, it probably cost you more than 600 bucks to move. Got to get the U-Haul, take you one or two days, plus the fact that you actually have to move. Moving is one of the most stressful things you do in life. Go Google that, right? It's like the fourth or fifth thing, most stressful thing you do in your life. So nobody likes moving unless you're my wife. She definitely likes to move. Anyways, so 10-unit apartment, you raise the rent on each, on each unit, $50. That's going to give you $500 a month, Okay? So $500 a month, but we're doing this in a year, times 12 is $6,000. Now, I'm just saying a year because maybe you raise the rent you know, today on, on two tenants, the next day on two more tenants, the next day on two more tenants as the leases come up. But technically, all you really need to do is show three months of a certain income to get value on an apartment building for the value to go up, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and just do 12 months. If you have a question on how you buy a 10 unit apartment building, go check out one of my other videos. This is very attainable, okay? So $500 a month times 12 is $6,000 per year. Now, let's go ahead and divide that by 50%. Let's say you have 50% of expenses. There you go, right? What is that? That, that leaves you $3,000, right? When the bank analyzes this or when a broker analyzes this, you gotta subtract your expenses, okay? So now you have $3,000 left that year, right, in your income after your expenses. So how do you get to your valuation? You take your $3,000, and you divide that by your cap rate, right? What is a cap rate? So every building, every commercial building, every type of asset, if it's either a warehouse, if it's an apartment building, if it's an office building, they all have like a, a cap rate. So basically what that means is, depends if you live in downtown Miami, right? Or in the middle of nowhere, Nebraska, your cap rate is gonna change. 
right? Downtown Miami, you might have a five cap rate, maybe lower. The lower the cap rate, the higher the evaluation, okay? The higher the cap rate, the lower the evaluation when it comes um, you know, to sell, right? When, when you're gonna uh, underwrite your property. So cap rate in general is six, 7%, just depends the type of the asset, the age, the quality, and where it's located. But let's just assume that for just this example, your cap rate is 6%, okay? So you're gonna divide that by 6%. So we do $3,000 divided by 6%, that gives you $50,000. So in one year, you were able to grow your net worth by $50,000. If you were to sell that apartment building at the, after you raise the rent $50, that's how much more you would make, okay? Now, you can play with this any way you want. Maybe the market only allows a $20 hike. Maybe it allows a $100 hike in rents. If it's a $100 hike, this is just double. That's $100,000 by raising rents $100. How many of you have rented in the past and every time you move, you know, or every once in a while your rent increases? It's just part, you know, just part of inflation. All the landlords raise the rents. So, you could also play around with this part right here, right? Maybe you have a five unit. Maybe you have a 20 unit. Maybe you have a hundred unit. You can play the, with the numbers any way you want and all this changes. So just imagine if you had a hundred unit apartment building, that would be half a million dollars by raising the rent $50. That's why there's so much money in apartments in commercial property because all you did was raise the rents. I didn't do any in remodeling of this building. I didn't do anything. I made it very simple. It already had tenants and just raised the rent. There's a lot of other ways to make money with this. You can actually remodel it. Maybe you charge $300 more a month in rent, okay? Now you also have appreciation. Basically means it's gonna appreciate, it's gonna be worth more to, uh, in a year from now than today. Ideally, that's the way the market works, but don't count only on appreciation because that is a little bit of gambling. But throughout history, real estate goes up. So not just by raising the rents, but by appreciation. You pay the mortgage down that year, okay? So there's a lot of ways to make money on your 10-unit apartment building, and this is very achievable. If you wanna learn how to buy a 10-unit apartment building or bigger, just go check out my other YouTube videos. Okay, so really quick recap on how you get $50 to 50K in one year. 10 unit apartment building, raise the rent on each unit $50. That gives you $6,000 a year, $500 extra per month. Now you have to subtract the 50% for expenses. That gives you $3,000. $3,000 divided by your cap rate. In this instance, we're gonna assume the cap rate 6%. Some areas might be seven, some areas might be five. You gotta do your market research. Let's just say at six, your property's worth $50,000 more. Now, everybody's gonna get stuck on this part right here. 10 unit apartment building, how do I get one? Very attainable. You can buy a 10 unit apartment building for $500,000. You can buy it for a million dollars. You can buy one for a million five. Still like any other loan. It's actually a little bit easier to get a loan for the apartment buildings Come up with 20% down. If you don't have it, right, ask some friends and family, right? Connect with somebody who already owns apartment buildings and try to learn that way. But don't get hung up on where the heck I'm gonna get my 10 unit apartment building. This right there should not be your issue, right? As long as you take the first steps, right, you can believe that you can have a 10 unit apartment building or bigger, larger apartment unit, you'll be able to do it. And then start networking with folks that are already doing this already, right? By watching this video, you've already taken the first steps, right? Go check out my other videos. There's a lot more content, a lot more uh, breakdowns of, of projects that I've done in the past. I think you would enjoy them. But this is extremely simple, easy. Don't overcomplicate it. This is how you can turn $50 into 50K within one year. Follow the channel. Till next time.